hello and welcome to my channel so for my wedding i did a lot of diys and i just wanted to share some of it share some of um you know just what i did for my wedding how i was able to save up and still be creative um with my wedding um so and that happened with just working with i had i worked with a lot of different brands um I, you know, like I, I budgeted, I, I ended up doing some things myself to save instead of going through a vendor to do it. And, um, if you're interested in, in, in just knowing more of the things I did for my wedding and how I was able to save, um, subscribe below, you can comment, ask me questions, and I am going to just make different videos on how I did different things, um, on how I just navigated the whole wedding process and was able to save on it. So today I am going to focus on the bridesmaids uh, proposal gift or proposal boxes. So for this one, I just I wasn't sure like what direction to go with it. Um, and with much, I, you know, I looked online for different boxes, and so I had six bridesmaids, and uh, the boxes I ended up not being able to like get enough. Um, I wasn't able to get the amount of boxes I wanted, um, you know, for my ladies. So I, and then some of the boxes just didn't really like fit what I wanted. So I thought it would be best to just do it myself. <laughs> and, um, so I did the boxes myself. I got the boxes from Amazon. Um, I got the flowers from the dollar, from the dollar store. And I was able to just redecorate the different boxes and stuff. And inside the boxes, I had different gifts that I got from brands. Um, so in the in the box, I had different things. I had uh, I had cards. I had custom made cards from Postable that I used, and it had like our um, engagement photos in there. And it had a you know like custom written proposal words. Um, so I had customized cards from Postable. So I was able to work with Postable to get customized cards. And you know, like it had our engage, engagement photos in there from LA, and you know, like it had like you know personal words in there for everyone with their name and everything. And and in exchange, I had to post about it. I had to post the postable, and um, and I had candles in there also from a, another brand. I had uh, just different like um, cosmetics from like different brands that I put together for the. For each lady's boxes and it was tailored to just you know like what they like so the, the ones that like candles I had the candles in there and all of that good stuff so yeah so it was really fun like honestly it was really fun putting the boxes together and it just shows like honestly just with weddings you cannot you don't have to break bank um, for weddings honestly um, and with the boxes, like it was very meaningful, really good gifts, and I didn't go crazy on budget, so that was really great. Um, so after, you know, like but I put it all together, then we had like the the wedding party reveal event where I was able to give out the boxes to each lady and stuff, and and they really really appreciated it. So let me know what you think about proposal boxes, about this idea. Um, if you're into it, let me know. Um, and just kind of like, you know, just, just share with me, um, how your, uh, bridesmaids, how your bridesmaids proposals went. Um, and I'll definitely be sharing more. Like I'm going to have like a, a wedding series where I just share different hacks. Um, even just my wedding dress, like how I was able to <laughs> save on my wedding dress as well. Um, and just all that good stuff. So I cannot wait to share these details because honestly, it helped me a lot. And I know there's a lot of people out there who are trying to just find different ways to save on their wedding, different hacks and um, DIYs and things like that. So subscribe below and I will see you in the next video.